Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid, so this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present, or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me how does Aries feel about the person on their mind. How they feel about Aries. Okay, and give me the connection between Aries and this person. All right, so the connection looks really good between the two of you. However, there are quick thoughts that go straight to fears of this person. Um, you might not know that, although you are feeling a little bit of hesitation from them. So in the connection between the two of you, I have the Four of Wands, the Empress, and the Knight of Swords. And it's really beautiful because I see a relationship and you two really enjoying each other's company. It feels like a soulmate connection here. This is everything that you want. They want focused on it. But at the bottom of the deck is the devil. Um, and I am seeing that with this person, they can be quick to go into fear of losing things. And this is because of whatever has happened in their past. So for you, how you feel about them, I see the eight of pentacles. I see the queen of cups and the knight of cups um, that you have. So working really hard, you know, to show this person that you love them, you care about them and offering some kind of gift or proposal here to them and just being very open about your feelings. You're, you're putting your heart out there for them and showing them like, I really care. Now we do have the five of cups, the hierophant and the two of wands that comes out for this person. And so they do have some disappointment from the past of things that did not work out. And that is something where they have created this belief within themselves. They got to stay comfortable where they're at, even though they really you know, want to be closer than you. It's because of whatever has happened in the past or like, but it'll never happen because this happened. Um, if they keep putting the negative thoughts there or allowing those negative thoughts to rule them, then they're not going to progress here. And that's just something that, you know, they need to work on. And it does look like they're, they're possibly talking to a counselor or somebody, um, that they find to be very wise that they always look up to or go to for information. Um, and that person's kind of helping them through this situation. So let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this eight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I see you working hard, taking leadership here and not letting go of the fact that you are interested. This is a new abundance and you can tell that this person is a little guarded. Um, there's some pain though in this situation because you're working hard, but you feel like they're not progressing. And also you see their pain. Um, even though they don't tell you about it, you do see it. So let's go ahead and clarify that queen of cups. Okay, so you do love this person and want to build a life with them, but you don't trust that they won't run away from you because of their disappointment that has happened in their past. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and also the uh, Knight of Wands. Um, as much love as you're giving here to this person and trying to prove to them that you're not going, you know, that you're trustworthy and that they don't have to worry about you running off, you do have that fear that they will run at some point because of, you know, things that didn't work out in their past and their past disappointments catching up with them um it's just hard for them to let go of and it feels like it is something all the way back to their childhood um like every relationship they've ever had or important relationships they had just didn't 
work out or people left them and abandoned them. And it just feels very disappointing. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Cups. The Hierophant, okay, the, or sorry, the Hermit, the Hierophant in reverse, and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck is going to be the Six of Wands. Um, I see you taking a different approach here than, you know, the normal approach, and this proposal, after giving things some thought, you're like, I want to do things differently, so um, I do see you going after what makes you feel good here and um blessings coming into your life right i do see you know i want the recognition i also want them to see that everything is going to work out so you putting your heart out there um and doing things a different way after really thinking about what you want and where your destiny is taking you and where, you know, the universe is guiding you, you are feeling pretty victorious with the fact that, you know, you're very open with your feelings here. So let's go ahead and, and clarify this five of cups for this person. It has a lot to do with family. Absolutely. Okay. So these are relationships that are very important to them. So that five of cups is clarified by the eight of pentacles, the 10 of cups, and then the two of pentacles. They have some family issues that they are working out here, um, trying to find, you know, um, strength and motivation to keep pushing forward and fix whatever this was in the past. I don't see it as a relationship with somebody else. This is really tied to family support, love and support of people that are close to you um, and finding that balance. They want that. They're trying to work hard to um, see that they have a beautiful life, that things are good for them. But there's something about somebody from their past that really made it difficult and um, it's, it's something they're working on. Now I do have the uh, king of wands at the bottom of the deck. So yes, they do want things balanced with you, but they want to work on the things that are holding them back before they can give you 100% of them. Let's go ahead and clarify the hierophant. Okay, so the Hierophant is clarified by the Five of Wands, Four of Swords in reverse, as well as the Four of Wands, and then the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, this soulmate connection that they feel with you and how they uh, really like that you two have a lot of the same um, similar views, point of views in life. Um, they find things a little challenging when they can't be open with communication um, and so I do see that even with family and somebody that they are going to and seeking advice from, there is drama and challenges with them and, um, it's exhausting because it's so close to home, but they're really trying to work through it. I feel like their family just makes things difficult and that can, um, whether this is something distant, something they're, you know, going back to after so many years and trying to fix it, it's exhausting this person. Um, but they feel like they can't move forward in their life until they've fixed what hasn't been healed in their past, which is good that they see this, but it's, it's a lot for them. So if they have been exhausted, um, that's why. And they want to prove to you that they can open up and, and talk to you more about how they feel and build a very strong foundation with you. And so they look forward to the future, but there's things that they are trying to mend first. So let's go ahead and clarify this two of wands. Wow. Okay. So they are making a plan here with that two of wands to step outside of their comfort zone and find the courage to stand up for themselves and end a chapter, um, that feels like an illusion. It's their past. And, um, you know, they want to progress towards the unknown, not having all the answers, but really trusting their heart, their intuition that with you, it's going to be okay. Um, I like that they're doing this, this work prior. It feels like they were doing this work prior 
to them meeting you, but it's very important for them. Let's go ahead and get the outcome between Aries and this person. Ooh, somebody makes a logical decision to walk away for the moment because they feel it's the right thing to do to bring balance and um you know the there's some kind of like i knew it was going to happen but you know it's a logical decision and it might be walking away from the past you know this person going through these things they're trying to do the right thing and leave the what doesn't feel good anymore in the past because it's the right thing to do and trusting their intuition moving forward that's more so what it feels like but um, if this is you aries feeling that you can't stay in a situation where they need to do the work i do see you talking to this person and making a practical decision to just walk away for the moment because it's the right thing to do until things are balanced and knowing that if we're meant to be together we'll come back together um so some of you might do that just so this person can work on their personal life and come back to you 100 ready um, if it's right so let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you all right we have both of them that came out and we have joy and delight open your heart to joy absolutely i see you doing that and this more so comes out for your person um, because there's a lot of love that you're giving and they really like that they see that you're fighting for them and they want to give you the same but they can't until they have healed that past of course so solitude and silence peace prevails that time alone that time apart um, is going to make things um, more recognizable of what is important in this person's life, what's important in your life. And, and, you know, peace prevails. They will find the peace whenever they are spending time, um, you know, on their own to heal some things. And look, infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. So this comes out at the bottom of the deck, which tells me that things are going to be fine. And this is a good thing. And I feel like it's very mature. It's not like, oh, well, I'm going to leave and let you deal with your own stuff and don't call me. It's nothing like that. I see an, an understanding here of something that needs to be done in order to make things feel complete. So this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.